Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how I've built an entire app using Claude AI. And as you can see here in the simulator, it's a fully functional app that works on iOS. This is going to be a part where I show you how to build for iPhone, so iOS. For that we're going to be using uh, Xcode, which is in a Swift language. I'm going to do, don't even worry, it's a lot of information right now, but I'm going to do a whole series of building my own app from scratch with you guys and I'm going to explain what is Swift and we're even going to look at the prompting and then even VS Code Studio and apps for Android as well. For this video I'm not going to have a webcam, I hope that's okay with you but I have some issues with my phone right now and I don't have a webcam yet because I'm uh, still not invested into a webcam but let's get uh, straight into building the app. So as I said we're going to be using AI and no not ChatGTP. we're going to be using Claude AI. I'm going to explain why. Claude AI is literally the best coding AI I know personally. And I have tried a lot of AI mo models. This is the best. It ca Literally, you cannot compete even GPT-40 with Claude, Claude Opus 4. Uh, of course, to use Claude Opus 4, Opus 4, sorry, you need to be on a paid subscription, but it's only $20. And if you can build apps like these, which you can then sell for thousands of dollars, I think it's really good. You can try the free version, but there's a lot of limitation. So, uh, first we're going to, I'm going to show you how to actually prompt because you need to know how to prompt to actually get the best results and then I'm going to explain a little bit of Xcode and then maybe show you the, the app a little bit more. We're going to go to Claude AI and you're going to start a new chat. So let's click here and okay, this is some news. We don't need that right now. And here we're going to say our prompt. So once you have your prompt, which I have right here, you can pause and look as at the structure. Here I just say what I need to do. This is the app requirements. And he, here's what I need from it. I need uh, Claude AI to walk me through creating an Xcode project and setting up. Uh, give me the building, the, <clears throat> sorry, gu guide me on the building, uh, on building the UI, buttons, display, layout, all that stuff. H help me write and explain the Swift code logic and all that. Uh, we're going to be building a calculator app, as you can see here. It's really just to showcase you. And let's see what Claude does. So you just send your prompt and you really want to, you know, get a good prompt be because Claude needs, um, yeah, it, or any AI just needs your direction. Boom. And you can see it already started doing the code for our calculator. And here, if we look at the left, we can see the step one, step two, and all that. And this is the guide. This is really important if you have no experience. You want to add to the prompt that <clears throat> it needs to guide you through it. You know, show me everything. Please give me tips on best practices for beginners and all that. So Claude is really helpful. Helpful, sorry. And here is how to set up the Xcode project, which is what we need. So in the meantime, when this is going to be writing the code, uh, here you can see the file. It's giving us all the variations. We'll look at this in, in a bit, but let's actually set up the Xcode project. And I'm going to be pretending I'm a total beginner. Okay, so let me close my close my Xcode. Let me just quit it. Okay, so we have closed Xcode, and now let's actually launch it. And it said that we need to create a new project. Click on this application, or sorry, here on on the top. It's of course iOS. Here we're going to click on App. We're going to hit next. Then the product name can be just uh, how we want to name it. This is an app, you know, doesn't matter. Here we can do the same. Uh, the, the interface, of course, has to be Swift UI, language Swift, and leave everything like this. Then we're going to hit next. And we're going to create a folder, right? So we're going to do new folder. We're going to call it. Uh, we want to uh, and just hit create boom so we have the calculator and bang okay so we have actually successfully created a first project in Xcode and as you can see it was not that hard okay so now that we're in the project itself what we need to do is we need to go to content view which we already have built uh, if you were building something more complex we would be definitely creating our own structure but this is the basic one and it's enough because this code is really simple. So we go to Claude AI and here we just copy the code itself. Step three is, of course, the step two is project uh, structure overview. You go to content view.swift. Uh, this is the 
This is how it should be called, but we named it only calculator. So it's it's here. Now let's just build the logic. So how do we do that? It's just we copy this code that we received from, from Cloud and we just place it to the content view. If you have anything here, just delete it and do this. And now we should be having a functional calculator. Sometimes it doesn't actually work for the first time, even the 10th time, 100th time, boom. Now we have it because it's really a simple code. So if you do seven plus three, it should be 10. Uh, if we do multiply by, fifth, uh, by five, boom. If you do divide by five, it should be five. Oh, okay, that's, that's weird. Uh, but you get the point, it's working, hopefully. Yeah, boom, it's working. So we have a fu fully functional uh, calculator on our phone, which is really awesome. We have the buttons here and everything. So this is it. We have built a very simple app. We haven't even done the structure. We haven't looked into all of the functions of Xcode, which, you know, there is a lot of functions, trust me, uh, which I will cover in a separate video. Uh, but it's really, really, really complex. Then we will also look into Android Code Studio, uh, voice, <coughs> not voice flow, sorry, uh, Visual, St Visual Code Studio, and all of the basics, what is even Swift code, how does it work, where did it begin, everything. So if you're interested in all of these, uh, in all of these videos, then leave a like, leave a follow, and see you in the next one.